Alright, so this motherfucker still, I'm supposed to be calling somebody, but this motherfucker still got them circling. Now, the only time, last time I heard of some shit like that, you know, this was back in my old neighborhood, and it was at night, and the motherfucker was circling. That means somebody was on the run, but this was nighttime, so they had the spotlight, on, you know, in the neighborhood. They had the spotlight, you know, just through different houses looking for this motherfucker and shit. If they circle, but I can't see if that's a, if that's a police cop or what. That's what I'm saying. I don't think they're looking for nobody for real. I think it's, it's part of the, the fucking program. Look, look. Well, can you see it? I mean, they flying all backwards and hovering. So, they, uh, uh, what are the white liberals? How can you sleep at night? It's like, we can sleep at night because, like I said, we don't do evil shit. You know, harass people to get where we at. Basically, stab people in the back to get your job. And, and, and that person was looking for a job. And it's not that he couldn't do it. You stabbed him at part of this whole thing. And then you're going to act like you're, you're a good person, you're a good father, you know, this and I take it, and you just stabbed it. And then you're wondering why your kid's getting fucked up. Because you did some, that's not hate, that's not me, that's, that's, it's, it, it's in the Bible, it's ancient. Whether you believe in the Bible or not, you can just read regular history and see other civilizations and see where if you do evil shit, whether you're religious or not, you know. And then you want to rub it, oh, I take care of it. Nigga, nigga, you done ruined this motherfucker life. That's why you can't sleep. You, you wonder why we can sleep. But we didn't do it like that. We just followed the rules. You know, read. Reading is fundamental. Remember that shit? Riff. Back, back, reading is fundamental. And then they get mad and now they all, you know, gang stalkered up. Because they did all this evil shit, and now it's it's coming out in the open, and nobody see that's the that's the thing. Like I said, they didn't get away with anything really. We just all thought they were like us. We thought they followed the rules. Now we're starting to see they didn't follow the rules. All this shit is coming out in the open. The whole world sees it. Literally, the whole world sees it, and they lose because all this shit that the the. The things they didn't do, and not just that, they didn't got themselves in situations they're scared. House notes, car notes, insurance, kids, braces, all types of shit. And they go into prison. How the fuck we gonna pay for all this shit? We're like, nah, bitch, you knew you knew that when you signed on for this program. You had to know about this shit. You know what I'm saying? You knew what you signed on for, and like I said, it's like, well, you shouldn't have got damn well. She used to be like, no, you know, like I said, mo like it's like I said, when you're young, you don't do no. When when niggas come up with a dumb plan, a dumb caper, you tell you no, I'm not, I'm not with it. I'm not finna do that. And, you know, sometimes they come back, sometimes they end up dead, sometimes they go to prison. That's the same thing as you Democrats. You should have thought. Of all this shit, I think he's there because, you know, he might be illegal. Yeah, I think that's why they told him to come up here. You know, because, you know, the Democrats, that's why they told, that's probably why he was part of it the whole time. It's like, see, you're not going to let them come. Because, like I said, we can't go down, I can't go down to Mexico and get a job. I can go down there and live because I got money, but I can't, one of y'all, you can't go down there and make, matter of fact, one of the dudes, I replaced him. One of the jobs I got back in the day, about 15 years ago, something like that. The dude I was replacing, he went back to Mexico. And the reason he was going back, because he had been here for three, this was way before all this stuff. This was like 2006. He just was like he made enough money. His words, his own words. 
the dude I was training to replace on the machine, he was leaving. Why? Because he made enough money to go home and live like a king. That was his words. This was in 2006, and he had been here three years. So that means, I guess, and, and, you know, I wasn't mad. At that point, like I said, the, the, the Democrats, they hadn't made it a big political thing. Nobody was talking about, they took our jobs. So I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't care. I, all I cared is the lady called, said, hey, you want to go work at the cookie factory? I said, yeah, I don't give a fuck, where is that, you know? It wasn't even paying that much, but I was getting a lot of hours, about 50, 55, 60 hours a week. And uh, dude, you know, he, he explained, he's like, he's going back home, he didn't even speak English. He didn't, but he had uh, the, the fat white dude who uh, trained me, he could speak it. Mexican and Spanish, and he told me, dude, I'm like, okay, I don't care, give me an opportunity, you know, what no, but you know, you did tell the niggas in the hood, like, uh, cause you know that, he was like, he could, he made enough in three years to buy a house, and that shit only paid $8 an hour, eight American dollars, go home, buy a house, so it's not that they come to better life, they go to making money, and go, they send money, that's fine, and leaving, and leave it. <clears throat> leave it. Yeah, I'm telling it all, fuck nigga. I'm telling it all. So, uh, you know, God ain't on y'all side. It ain't even because of what you doing about that. I don't give, nobody really gives a fuck like that, you know, unless you do it illegal. But, you know, listen to all them dumbass Democrats. Oh, no, we supposed to have compassion. And Joe Biden, no, oh, the border. Get the fuck out. I worked at the border, you know what I'm saying, when I was in the 82nd. I don't know if I'm supposed to tell this one. But anyway, I mean, that was years ago, decades. It, uh, you know, has nothing to do with, with what they're talking about. It's bullshit. We all know who has control, especially hood niggas. Hood niggas, they brag about it because they, oh, yeah, I got the plug. They call it the plug. Or either they wish, you know, they wish they had a man. I wish they had one of them Migos on me. They would <laughs> hook me up with this and that. Trust me, niggas know what's really going on. And they know, the, oh, it's compassion. And, and, you know, they know what's going on, too. You know, the fuck out of <laughs> You know, the point is, they, they fucked their stupid criminals. They should have stayed where well, they couldn't. They got busted. Trump bust them out, and they had to, to do anything. They had to do anything to, to, to stay, try to stay in power instead of just taking all the money they stole and running or something. I'm just saying, I ain't on their side. They should have did something smart. Get the fuck out. Run, bitch. It's over. You're caught. Instead of doing throwing each other under the bus and this and that and, and stealing an election, it's like, no, bro, I, and I ain't going off of what somebody else said. I'm going off because I'm from the hood. I know what the, I recognize hood shit. Yes, they did. Trust me. You, know, you ain't got proof. I don't need proof, nigga. Why you think I ain't never been to prison? <laughs> Bitch, I ain't stupid. I know what the fuck they did. The hell? <laughs> Crazy as hell. Uh, it's like, yeah, like I said in, in my last video, motherfucker be like, uh, oh, I, got, I went to prison in 1994. That's your ass. You stupid, nigga. That's why you went to prison. You got caught. The fuck out my face, because you know, I'm supposed to, oh, 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 man, you went to prison. Yeah, they, and then it's like, nigga, you live in a big city. Where you was, Atlanta, New York, Chicago, D.C., Chocolate City. Democrats, black folks. A judge, black judge, the judge, or a white Democrat, liberal. That's who put you in prison in 94, nigga. The fuck you in my face, bro, <laughs> like I did something, like I sold out. No, bitch, I just ain't get caught, stupid. You like the dumbass nigga here running in, stick, stick shit in your pocket. You know, remember when you was little, motherfucker that like stealing out the store, stealing candy, and get caught. And the rest of us, <laughs> like, no, he, oh, you a snitch. I'm not a snitch. A snitch is somebody who's involved. If we run in the caper and one of us get caught and, and turn on, on everybody else, that's a snitch. You know, like you used to say back in Al Capone days, a stool pigeon. You know, singing like a stool pigeon, a canary. But if I ain't involved, I wouldn't fit. I, you know what I'm saying? I ain't run up in that bank with you. I ain't do nothing. I, now, if old lady Johnson, she saw what you were doing and she, she tells on you. That's not a snitch. 
I mean, you could be mad at old, but the rest of us, we ain't gonna let you fuck with old Lady Johnson. You got caught, bitch. Well, you should have told them niggas not to, you know, like you selling dope. And you got cars pulling up and all day long, just different cars. Because first of all, you should, if, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be selling nickels and dimes. You selling $10 rocks. You supposed to be selling shit that's so big, you ain't got people coming up and pulling up to your fucking house. Because then, first of all, you sending that little dope, you get caught, you go in a nasty-ass state prison for about six, seven years. You had that big shit, you go in a federal prison. Club fed, you know, shit. I mean, I mean, that shit you supposed to know. You don't fuck with no little itty-bitty shit. So when they come kick your door in, you ain't got, oh, Black Lives Matter, this racism, no. You just, you got so much, they ain't call my lawyer. Nigga, I'll be back out in about goddamn two hours, you know, instead of trying to fight and getting shot, fighting the cops. <laughs> you should have been smarter. <laughs> just dumbass niggas. And we supposed to feel bad because you stupid. <laughs> like, no, man. I mean, now, if you stupid, that's good, that's good. But I think what happened, these Democrats, they didn't, uh, they didn't pump their heads up with this equality. And er just like I know, there's things I can't do. I don't get mad. If I meet somebody that do something that I wanted to do, now you know I don't feel oh I wasn't smart enough. It just it could be it's a lot of situations, you know. Oh shit, for real? Oh, you a pilot? Yeah, man. I used to want to be a pilot. You know, I got pretty close, but things ain't work out, you know. But shit, I wouldn't be mad at him. You know, you supposed to feel bad. Why in the hell should you feel bad? He should or he or she, you know, shit. It is what it is, you know. Shit, life ain't equal. Oh, that's another thing. Let me start. I'm going to make this three videos for y'all.